That was kind of our first time sailing upwind. <laughs> we have really high expectations of ourselves to do things well the first time we do it. The first time we try, we should know what we're doing. Yeah, it was just total accidental. Look at that. Like, this is just... Re-reef the main again and just give up and then just be happy sailors. I'm Kate. And this is my husband, Mick, our kids, Thomas and Bentley. Five years ago, we had this crazy idea to travel the world with our kids. And never did we imagine our mode of transportation would be a sailboat. These are my parents. It's been their lifelong dream to sail across oceans. And so together, a dream was born. Come along with us as we learn, laugh, I play with, I play with boats. And explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. I just can't stop singing. Oh, how baby, I love you. This is my favorite part of doing these, just so you know. Cheers. So, g'day! We're here in Sandblast, or Matanchan Bay to be exact, and this is an area that we really hope to come to when we're heading south. We skipped it because we wanted to be in a certain spot for Christmas, and also there was talk about a whole bunch of little no see -em bugs that were apparently here and ruined everyone's experience. <laughs> so, in knowing that they were in existence, we've anchored nearly a mile off the shore from our closest land point, and they've been fine. At the boat, they're fine. At the boat, they're totally fine. On land, as long as we're gone two hours before sunset. Also fine. Also fine. And the people are so friendly here. Like, as soon as we landed the dinghy on the first beach, hey, come over here, safe spot, lock up, blah, what do we owe you? No, what? Nothing. Nothing. Great. And then walking through the town, like, literally the friendliest town we have been to. Okay. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Uh, the tension is so friendly. Yeah. We're very happy to be here. It's lovely here. Thank you. We'll see you later. All right. Adios. Standing here a while, just take it all in. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. The tension is the friendliest town yeah. we have been in Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, we just got here last night, so we just came to land for the first time, and everyone's just been, hey! It's so friendly. Yeah, it's really nice. We're really happy to be here. Alrighty. We'll come back for some baking on our way back. Yeah. This is the cutest town ever. In our last episode, we left you in Puerto Vallarta, Banderas Bay, and since then we have put quite a few northern miles under our keel, and it's been kind of an interesting northern journey so far. I just want to share with you some additional insight about what we have learned so far sailing upwind as we head north. Yes, and you'll hear us say upwind, downwind. Pretty much what that means is sailing downwind is you're heading in this direction and the wind is coming from behind you and pushing you along and generally the sea state is with you at the same time. Upwind is when you're trying to go that way and the wind's coming at you from that way. You cannot sail directly into the wind, so you then have to pull off the side and use that force of the wind hitting the side of the boat and then bouncing your way up through. You would have seen in one of our previous videos when we rounded Cape Corrientes back into Banderas Bay. Yeah. I can't believe how much fuel we burned through. Even though we were motor sailing, I think you definitely go through more fuel when you're going upwind because you have so many forces against you, oh, like yeah. the sea state. You go and slower, the trip's longer, you're going against the wind chop. That was kind of our first time sailing upwind. <laughs> and we, we kind of motor sailed and motored most of the time because we just weren't really sure. And then since then, Mick has done a ton of reading and a ton of learning and picking people's brains. And so then we were putting that into action this time when we left Banderas Bay. Good morning. What's going on? You know, just getting ready for the day. It's smelling pretty good down there. I know, the boys are killing it with the pancake making this morning. Wow, man, some serious pancakes. You did good. We made a lot. You did make a lot. Let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nice work. We're leaving La Cruz. Yep. For the last time this season. Yeah, it's Thanks. it's gonna be 10 months until we're even potentially back here I again. Know. It just kind of feels great. We're so excited to go explore new places. You will all be very happy to know we are fully unreefed. I'm happy to know it. I think we have started our journey in sailing very cautiously and we're still learning to balance the boat with a full man mainsail. Yes, I've been doing more and more reading about it. I think it is old and as soon as you get that huge belly in it, it really just overpowers everything else and we are a cutter. So we're supposed to have both head sails up if we have a full main. I got filming and I lost the wind. Sorry about that. It's okay. Continue. But a lot of the time we just put the head sail up and it's actually really small because this boat is supposed to have smaller sails. Two head sails, just a lot easier to manage than only the main's fairly large. But I've been reading about ways to depower the main and we're gonna try those today. So that we're more balanced. Correct. You've probably noticed in our videos that we're reefed a lot of the time and the reason is we're still learning, we're still figuring out the boat, we've got a really big stretched out mainsail and we have found it hard to balance that big old mainsail when we're going downwind with just our little Yankee jib. So learn along with us, why don't you? It must have been laziness that had us not putting up our stay sail for this short hop. Frustration mounted as we attempted to balance the boat without proper sails up and trying to sail too close to the wind. Between stubbornness and frustration, eventually the frustration won. Okay, that was just total accident. Look at the like, this is just a should we reef the main again and just give up? And then just be happy sailors? The boat kept pulling into the wind more. We couldn't tighten the main out. It had a huge belly on it. We kept pulling around towards the wind. The autopilot wasn't happy. Had to keep correcting so the wind's coming at us we're sailing at this angle and the weather helm kept pulling us towards the wind so we'd we swing into the wind and then we'd lose all speed and all power because we'd be in the wind and the sails would be flogging and then the boat would just take off depending on which way the wind caught us and this just keep kept happening and it was so frustrating and i think there was just like a lot of frustration that day which turned into us arguing we have really high expectations of ourselves to do things well the first time we do it. The first time we try, we should know what we're doing. So that coupled with our boat not being balanced properly and swerving all over the place and constantly going into irons and sails flogging and when they flog they're loud and noisy and then it damages them and it damages them and then the boat is turning around going the opposite way we want to go because we're in irons and then the wind catches the nose and it was just like we were so frustrated. Finally we just reefed the main and then everything was suddenly yeah. balanced and lovely and we had a beautiful sail and the excitement levels came back and everything was really good. Yeah. rig is extremely old school it's very original and everything is manual the only thing we do from the cockpit is sheet the sails so just adjust how far out they go that's all we do raising them lowering them everything is done up on deck we have no furler they're all hang on so the sails are always just sitting on deck in a big fluff and that adds to the whole tuning thing and getting the boat ready because that, every, all of that effort adds a bit more stress and a bit more time and when the wind's blowing you're trying to get sails down there's nothing that just 
winds up like it just comes down and is blowing everywhere like we don't have lazy jacks <laughs> we don't have lazy jacks even on, on our, our mainsail. mainsail so lazy jacks help guide the sail down you drop the halley the mainsail drops down and it'll stay nicely on the boom ours just goes everywhere all over the deck. and it's like a two-person job to collect the mainsail to tame that onto now reefing lines are flapping around because they're not tied down and I've put a lot of effort and work into trying to make that as streamlined as possible. And we're at a stage now, yes, Lazy Jacks will help and we'll get there. But the other stuff, I think is just where it's going to have to be for now with the setup we have. And even though that day was so frustrating, when I looked back at the footage, I was like, okay, there was a lot of excitement in the air. We anchored in Punta Demita and we were so excited. We'd been to Punta Demita three or four times before, but this time, it was just different. High five to our fourth time in Punta Demita. But it feels really different this time, doesn't it? It's because it is different, Kate. Why is it different? It's the first leg of our northern journey it is. to the Sea of Cortez. And I'm like really, really amped about this. I don't know why. I just felt really excited, really ready for new adventures. It is. It's like the start of a new trip again. It is. That's what it feels like. Banderas Bay has started to feel like home. It feels like we're heading out once it's like, again. It's like the Sea of Cortez is this amazing cruising grounds and now we're on a journey together. next on to Sayulita. So we left Punta de Meta. We've noticed after living down here the last couple months, two or three months, that pretty much every day around 11 o'clock, the winds start to pick up from the north and they slowly build just to moderate winds and then they die off around, what, four or five? So we had all these four, hour, four to five hour trips planned to give us really the best chance from when we left one anchorage to the next to sail. So we were on our way to Sayulita. We had our main with the first reef in it. We had <laughs> our jib and stay sail up and we headed directly out to sea using the wind as an angle to then just have one tack to come back up. And we got the angle right. Everything was great and we stayed on that tack but it was perfectly balanced. We had Buddy, our wind vane, just working wonders and we just sat back and put our feet up for like the next four or five hours and it was just delightful. It was a beautiful sail. Our mindsets were so much better that day. Our time in Sanyolita was really, really fun. It's not a typical anchorage. It's quite exposed and we weren't sure what it would be like. So we got there, we threw out a stern anchor and it actually ended up being a really comfortable anchor. Yeah, it was a cool spot. We made it to Sayulita. So we're just around the point, not at the main beach, but at this little beach. I believe it's called Playa de los Muertos or something like that. It's like beach of death, I think, because <laughs> there is a cemetery right behind it. I might have that name wrong, but um, we're at the little beach. It's a very popular spot. It's packed right now with people. And then the main beach has like thousands of people at it. Like, honestly, it's such a crazy place. It's so busy here. And that's where the surf spot is over at the main beach. So it's funny that our charts say that the main beach is the anchorage because typically you don't really want to anchor where it's a surf beach. Anyway, we're here. We threw out a stern anchor just to keep our nose into the swell. And that it was feels, great. That was so really, easy. It feels really good, the position we're in right now. We have definitely been in way worse anchorages than this. This is lovely. We're there for a few days. The town is so cool there. I mean, this is a really touristy stop, but different than like Puerto Vallarta touristy, it still has like a lot of Mexican culture. The beaches were the busiest beaches we have seen. <laughs>
Taco City, pretty nice night. What a day, what a massive day. So then it was on to a little island just north of Salyalita. It was a short trip, just a little hop and another awesome sail. Good news everyone. This is our third day, I think of sailing upwind we had some balancing issues with our full main up you know i think it's just come down to that it was really old and really slack and it was holding a huge belly in the sail which caused it to catch too much wind and overpower the whole front of the boat uh, to compensate that we have one reef in the main it's still a lot of sail up on the mainsail and we also have our yankee jib and our stay sail up and the boat is Balance beudifully. The rudder right, right angle is pretty much bang on zero. The autopilot's as happy as can be. The wheel's hardly moving and it's perfectly balanced. I think what has helped us as well is just being more patient. To sail upwind, it, you, it really takes a lot longer. Necessarily gonna go the direction you wanna go all the time. You're having to tack back and forwards and I would rather try and sail all day on a shorter passage than to motor around and it only take half a day. And that's what we've done now. This is the third day doing it. And it's really, really fun. Way more fun than having the motor going. So you can see what I'm talking about here with our track. This was our start point. And that's where we want to end up, up here. But right now the wind's coming from this direction, so we can't head that way. So we've elected to go way out here and the wind right now is just off our starboard just forward of the beam and then we should be able to tack all the way back up and have the wind on the opposite port side ah uh, yeah we cover more ground but we're sailing and that's what it's all about Pretty lovely little sail. Did we hit five knots, did you say? Yeah, a few times. Nice. Cruising, man. We got it. This upwind thing? Yeah. All <laughs> sorted. Day three. <gasps> Shall we go see what the kids are up to? <gasps> they said it feels like we're at anchor today. It's just so calm. We haven't really had this kind of sea state in Mexico very much, so it's a very nice change. What are you guys up to? Lego. Lego. Where are you going? Eating lunch. Oh, your lunch. You made yourself lunch, didn't you? What'd yeah. you make? A thing. A burrito? Looks good, man. Good job. You having a good passage? <laughs> Is it pretty nice? What did you say? Couldn't believe we were sailing. It feels like we're at anchor. Yeah. Yeah. What are you making? I'm making a box filled with, I don't know, something. Very nice, very nice. Okay, it's really cool. As we rounded the point here, we can see Isla La Peña, which translates to Rock Island. And I said to Mick, it's hardly an island. It kind of just looks like a giant rock. <laughs> Um, so that's kind of funny. I Google Earthed it. Google Earthed it and on the east side there's actually a little beach tucked in there and I saw a heap of umbrellas. So I have a feeling it's one of those spots where everyone from the mainland will catch a punga over, get dropped off and just hang. You are exactly correct. The research I did told me that it is a very touristy spot to take a punga to. And there's great snorkeling is what I've heard.
were in quite an exposed anchorage at that little island. That's actually kind of hilarious. We're not really sure what the name of it is. We still don't. Navionics calls it one thing, and then we went and the signs were saying different things. I'm pretty sure it's Isla del Corral. This place. Are we at Isla del Corral, or are we at Isla la Inca? I don't know. But in the earlier footage of us going there, we were calling it something totally different because that's what Navionics called yeah. it. And we'd never heard anyone speak the name of it before. This was again, a little off the beaten path anchorage. So we stayed there for one night and then the Southern Swell started to pick up and the, all these anchorages were really exposed to the Southern Swell. Very uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. We've had the coolest time at this island, whatever it's called. I think we're gonna head to one of these three towns on the mainland this morning just because uh, it was pretty rolly last night and my back is really bothering me so I, I kind of requested that we go try and find somewhere maybe a little more protected look at these rolls no wonder we were rocking and rolling last night they wrap around the island Okay team, we're at this new anchorage. Doesn't really seem much better. What are we gonna do? Let's go to Chicala. You wanna go to Chicala? I'm thinking just to try and poke our nose in a little bit further to see if it's any better, check the depth and then see if we can stern anchor. What's our depth right now? 12. And we're pretty far from shore still. We were hoping we could tuck in a little more. But, but it it's only quite moved, shallow. It's only gone down a foot in the last couple minutes. So it might, like, you know, steady off a bit. Yeah. So there's all these really exposed anchorages between, like, well, so between Banderas Bay and our, one of our favorite stops, Chicala. They're all really exposed. And they're ones people don't normally stop at. Most people go from Punta de Mita at the edge of Banderas Bay straight to Chicala. We stopped at Salulita, which worked out fine. We had a really good weather window. Then we went to the Rock Island, and that was okay. But the swell has definitely picked up today. And we're just trying to find a spot that we can tuck into and find a little bit of reprieve and some protection. But it's just not really working out the way that we had hoped. Okay, someone has to make the call. Or should we just flip a coin? Heads we go, heads we go. Okay. Heads we go. Okay. Okay, let me do. What's happening? Hey guys, it seems like we're we trying to get go. heads to leave. This is the way to, Tom's okay. like, oh, dang it. Okay, no, let's no. go. No, but just that, look. See, sometimes flipping a coin just makes you realize how you actually feel. None of us could decide whether to stay or go. Thanks, Bentley. It's kind of chilly. So we flipped a coin, and the coin told us to stay. And we were all disappointed, so we are like, okay, well, there's our answer. We all secretly want to go. We tried, we saw some cool anchorages, some cool spots, some different things. Now we're going back to one of our favorite places, Chicala. Well, it's a bit chilly today, mostly because there's wind, which is lovely. Uh, the swell has definitely picked up. It was not in our imagination. It's swelly out here. So we're getting the sails up. And we're on our way. What is it? Uh, it's only 10 nautical miles to Chicala, but that will take us two or three hours. We had one more epic day of sailing from Chicala to where we are now in San Blas, and all those frustrations had definitely been left way behind. That was the third day, pretty much, fourth day sail in a row that just went perfectly. And I think it's now kind of pushing us to focus on sailing and now picking our days with the wind to try and get there with a lot less engine time, which makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool to see the change in us. We just were so much more comfortable. We were so much happier. We felt proud of ourselves for how much we had figured out in four days, really. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really safe. Mm -hmm. This looks really safe. My way to a new town for a few days, having some fun. Woo! Woohoo! Of course. 
course, I'm always filming the wrong direction when they do something cool. very close to us. It looks like a mom and a babe. They we, disappeared now. They have disappeared. And we learned that if you're sailing, you should start your engine and just put it in neutral because then they hear the vibrations through the water and know where you are. I think it's time to start the engine. I feel their eyesight's better than mine. Go start the engine, you weirdo. So thanks for watching guys and come along with us for this really exciting year ahead with many unknowns. Let's do some more upwind sailing. Pow! <laughs> that was the most unorganized high five ever. Are you doing it again? I can't see your arm, your head's in the way. What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, it's a SWAT five. Five, nice! <laughs>